all starting system components must be in good working order to provide the cranking power needed for reliable engine starts. Starting system tests measure the current draw and the cranking voltage. If the engine cranking speed is good and the starter circuit current draw and cranking circuit voltage are within specs, the conclusion is generally that the starting system is functioning properly. Begin testing the vehicle's starting system by performing a visual inspection. Look for battery defects, damaged electrical cables or wiring, corroded or loose connections, or a loose starter motor, switch, solenoid, or relay. To perform a current draw test, the battery should be fully charged and the engine should be at normal operating temperature if possible. Turn off all of the vehicle's electrical accessories and connect the BAT45 load leads to the battery, red for positive and black for negative. The red or positive lead goes on first and comes off last. From the main menu, select Starter Test, then press Yes. The main message display will indicate Place Amps Probe. Clamp the amps probe around either battery cable leading to the battery. If you put it on the positive cable, point the arrow on the clamp down the cable toward the starter. If you use the negative cable, point the clamp arrow toward the battery. Make sure all positive or negative cables are covered to capture current draw in the system. The zero key is used to reset the amp display to zero. However, this should only be used when the amp probe is not clamped onto a wire. If it is zeroed while clamped onto a cable, you may get an incorrect measurement. The main message display will indicate disable ignition. Check the vehicle manufacturer's instructions for doing so. With either the ignition or the fuel system disabled, press the yes key to place the VAT45 into the testing mode and the display will indicate start cranking engine. The tester will automatically display a 10 second countdown. Crank the engine continuously as the VAT45 counts down. Testing begins when the amps probe senses current flowing from the starter. Stop the engine as soon as the test results are displayed. To prevent damaging the starter, do not crank the engine for more than 15 seconds without stopping. If you need to conduct the test again, allow the starter motor to cool for at least two minutes between cranking tests. If your VAT45 came with a printer, Print all the tests or a single test result by following the prompts on the message display. To return to the main menu, press the No key after printing is complete. 